Good morning, YouTube, and welcome to Cooley Outdoors. I am your host, Brandon Scott, and with me today is my parents. We are at Grayland, Washington, for a little different kind of YouTube video today. Today, as you can tell, my father is not carrying hiking gear. We got clamming stuff. We are going clamming. This is the first razor clam dig on Washington beaches since COVID. So it's been three years since you have been allowed to go clamming, which means theoretically there should be lots and lots of good clammies. So that is what we were going to do. The low tide is at just after 11 a.m. and it is 9.53. So we've got an hour and a half till low tide. And the rules are pretty simple. If you want to go clamming in Washington, you gotta wait till they open up a beach like this one is Grayland Beach slash Twin Harbor slash Westport. I don't know what exactly they call it, but you come out at a low tide to come get them. You gotta have your, uh, I think it's a clam. I don't know. You gotta get a, obviously, you gotta get a license from the state. It's like a fishing license, it's part of the fishing license. We get the all in one so we can go do anything and everything. But I think this is covered under shellfish maybe or it's under clam separate. I don't know. I'll look it up and post a screenshot of it there. But you get to keep used to be 15, but since they haven't opened it for three years, for now you get to keep 20. And it's the first 20 you dig up, whether they're big hunk of chunkin' ones or they're little ones. The first 20 you pull up you keep. And so what you're looking for is a little dit dot divot in the sand and you step on it and it squirts out some water and then you angle your clam gun ever so slightly and pull it out hopefully we will demonstrate here shortly and if the clamming's good we should be done in like half an hour if it's bad it'll take us an hour or two hopefully not so now we begin and i am sorely out of practice That's a dang sand flea. I thought I had one already. That's a sand flea. So the idea is you tap the sand, put some pressure on it, and if you find a hole, if there's a hole nearby, the hole will burble. And then you stick your clam gun in it. But you gotta watch out for the water. Sand, please. Hmm? I said lots of sand, please. God, there's just kajillions of them. What? Oh, sh here? Is that a show right there? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> oh. I might have crunched him. Yep, right there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. and that's on the. That's gonna be on camera. Yeah, it's there. There he is. I murdered him. Oh, I murdered him. Good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I uh, I missed YouTube. I kind of crunched him. That's one. I don't know what I did. I may have angled it too much. I'm not sure if I angled it too much or not enough. Pull Shmew! Pull Shmew! Pull Shmew! Oh, perfect! Oh, that's a oh, big one. Look that's, what look, that's what he looks like when you pull him out properly. I'm gonna, You're going to keep him? I'm going to wash him. Watch me put them on camera real quick. So they can play with them. He ain't gonna spit. No, nope, he already did. That's a good one. Ooh, what's this one right here? Uh oh, Shmoo's on fire. Shmoo's on fire. Oh. 
Uh oh, she crunched him. She crunched him. I don't think you went deep enough. I don't think you went deep enough. I mean, you better hit it again. You better hit it again. Yeah, I'm not angling enough on mine. Come on, Shmew. Get the clam. Get the clam. Get the clam. Uh-oh. Did he escape? Oh, oh. Hey, two for two. Look at that. Try, it tried, tried to run. She is, is stuck with a gun in the water. You look like you're a little stuck. No. Father's coming. Better pull them up. Come on, Shmew. Come on, Shmew. Get him right there. There he is. Oh, yeah. Yep, that was on camera. That's good. Quality. Oh, that's a fat chunker. That's a fat chonker. That is a chonker. But yes, YouTube, this always frustrated me because I never could figure out I was actually missing. You're going to get a wave. You're going to get a wave. You're getting a wave. Let's back up there again. There's one out of its hole. And there might be a second one right here. Oh. Come on, gun. Into the, into the ground. That's as far as I'm going with this pole. I'm not sure if there's one here. I'm not sure if this other one has one. Nope, just the one. Knock it over. Look at him. Clean them off real quick. Maybe. Ta-da. Waves, lots of water, Smear. You're getting wet. You're getting wet for that one. Yeah. All right, pull her up. See what you got. Let's see if you are a wiener. Oh, the crunch, the magic crunch. Uh oh. Did you even get him out of the hole? Uh oh, he's still down there. Still down there. I got one of them, yeah. Come on, Shmuel. Pull him out of those. Keep going, pull! Uh oh. Uh oh. I think you lost him. I think I got him. No. I think you lost him, Shmuel. You did done goof there.
There we are. Oh, that's a big one. Right there. Yeah. There's another one there. Oh, crunch time. Too late, crunched good. Why are you so far sideways in your hole? Ooh, what's this? Is that a spine? That's his little thing that take out of his Crunched. They usually grind up your shit in your stomach for it. Oh, oh it snuck it in. I am on one, but I gotta wait for the water to go by. I hope it doesn't run away. I think mean, that's just a piece of litter. All right, YouTube, let's see how bad I am. No crunch, it's either a good thing or a bad thing. Hey! Wiener, wiener, chicken dinner. Oh, and it's a lively one. Look at him try to run. Yeah, nice try. Nice try. That makes numero 11. He was lively. Let's see if I can get him to dance. Nope. Bag's getting there. It's getting there. Oh, there's one. See that? Maybe. Clam gun might have been in the way. No, oh, there's the crunch. Oh, yeah. Air. There you go. God, they're big. They're not putting out very much spittle. But 13. I'm not sure my bag's gonna hold 20. Waiting for the water to go away for a couple seconds. This might be 15 or I might be getting skunked again. It's slowed way, way down. Although there is another one there. Right in the middle of that handprint. Yeah. This is my first one in probably half an hour. Then another one there. Bada bing, bada boom. That's 15. Son of a... You jinxed it. This is your fault. I was back there doing a lot of shows, but nothing ever shook came out. Oh, water, go away. This one's probably gone by now. Yeah, they do. No, go away water. Holy crap, how much water is there? Shit. Well, you take your thumb off, you lost him. I'm sure these are both gone by now, YouTube. These are both probably long gone. Yeah. 
Man, we are probably skunked. And where's my hole? Got one and then went after the other one and two waves came in, so he's probably long gone. And that'll make 20. Fast. See that little dip dot right there? That's pretty much what you're looking for. Sometimes it's bigger, sometimes it's littler. Look at that. That right there. Sometimes all you're looking for. It is 12.05. So it took us two hours and 15 minutes to get 60 clams. 20 a piece. Now, when it's a really good day, like it started out to be, looking like it was going to be, sometimes we'll get our 15 clams a piece for 45 clams. And uh, it'll take us like, 25 minutes half an hour and that's what it was looking like the first 15 20 minutes it was on i got like three mom was on four and dad was on like 10. dad usually gets done first and then he just hunts up for holes for mom and i to find but it was looking like to begin with we were gonna cruise right along and be done quick and then they all went poof and we couldn't find nothing so we ended up walking quite a ways away from Hopper. Normally, like I said, when it's good, you can pretty much just walk straight out from your vehicle, hang out on like a 50 or 100 foot section of beach, and get your 15 clams and be done. Yes, we had to get an extra 15 clams between the three of us, but that should have only taken an extra 10 or 15 minutes, not an extra hour. See? See here, if the sun's just right, I'll put it right there. What you're looking for see that it's a little high up those big mounds are different things they're gonna be like sandworms and shit but like that right there is what you'd be looking for is the camera too high for that I can't tell yeah right there that little divot in the middle of my circle is what you're looking for that's what you're looking for <sighs> Sometimes they're easy to spot, sometimes they're impossible to spot. You're not looking for the big pyramids, the big domes. Because those are either sand dollars or sandworms or something else like that. That's a no-no. But, so yeah. Here, we'll go put these all in our cooler. And I'm sure I'm going to be the one that has to come down and get a bucket or two of water to put in the cooler with them to keep them alive for the drive home. And then we're probably going to hang out down here for a bit, have lunch, enjoy ourselves at the beach for a bit, and then we'll be going home. And I'll put a picture of that up there. But otherwise, I think I am now going to say goodbye. So thank you for joining us on this coolie outdoors adventure. I'm pretty sure this is going to go to, into the outdoor living or living outdoors, whatever I call that playlist, that kind of catch-all playlist where put random things in there like when we went logging for firewood with Uncle Jim last fall so that's gonna go in here and um if you liked it hit the like button let me know what you did or did not like it see all these other did nots or other things these are not what we're looking for hit the like button subscribe follow us on social medias and uh ciao Bonus footage time, we are at Westport and we got the water out of the marina where it was clear and easier to fill up the bucket than at the beach. And of course being at Westport, we're going to go walk up the Westport Tower and look out into the ocean. And so it's, look, it's a stylized lookout tower obviously that you can look out into the big Pacific Ocean and it also, right there, 
has a webcam that is 24 7 live streaming video streaming and it's got something like four or five different angle presets where you can look at it anytime and see how the pacific ocean is doing really fun to look at when it's stormy because at times the waves will crash over this rocky bird and that's real fun we've been here a couple of times when we were much younger when the waves were crashing and this whole area was flooded and it's cool and i've come out here a couple of times with dad and dad's buddy easy to go halibut fishing and salmon fishing so hopefully that might be in future videos although easy does do his own videos when he comes out fishing both here in hawaii and i'll put a link to that there but it's breezy where'd the surfers go i just saw them the sideburns? Yeah. No, I don't remember the sideburns. Huh? Oh, they are there. Okay, cool. So if you look right there, there's a couple of surfers. Yeah, the wind's picked up too. No, go away. I don't want updates. I want to scope out. So this is the entrance to Gray's Harbor. Which at the very other end of Gray's Harbor, way down in that direction, is Hoquiam and Aberdeen of Nirvana fame, amongst other things. But this is where we come out to launch... halibut and salmon fishing there's a nice beach over there that I'm sure lots of people use and hang out on the summertime but yeah it's a little bonus video semi-famous town of Westport and the semi-famous Westport viewing tower with its weather station and web camera and figure to check it out you know it's cool to see you don't usually get to see <coughs> the Pacific Ocean from this kind of view and that built up area across the opening from us. Don't know if it has an actual name or not. No, not technically. I guess it's the southern end of Ocean Shores. Eh? Is he done up here already? It's cold. Oh, psh. well that's because he's in his shorts. But yeah, I suppose we're, uh, are we gonna go walk over on the beach at all or no? Probably done done. Okay. Then I guess we will call it, and there's the rest of Westport. This is where Trident Seafoods and a couple other seafood companies have their area. It is quite large marina and harbor. Large fishing and crabbing fleet is here. When we were driving by, they were unloading totes of oyster shells. So it's a very happening fishing hub. But uh, yeah, that'll be it. Thanks for joining us. See you next time, and ciao.